Hello and a very warm welcome to this special broadcast. My name is Ronald Kato. Gambia is holding a hotly contested presidential election this Saturday. It is the first such exercise since the departure of former ruler Yahya Jame in 2017. President Adama Barrow, who is seeking re-election, is facing competition from four other challengers, many being former allies of his. So what's at stake? Honorable Fatumata Tambajang served as President Adama Barrow's deputy from 2017 to 2018. She joins us now from Banjo, the Gambian capital. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Tamba Jiang, for your time. Just how important is this exercise for your country? First of all, I thank uh, African News and Euro News for having me. Um, the elections are very important because this is the first uh, elections post Jame era. Um, democratic elections, um, and uh, we are hoping that uh, everybody is looking forward to it. Uh, it's unprecedented by the nature of the contestants we have had for the first time in the history of the country, 26 political parties contesting for the presidency. So Gambia is located in a region that has seen, you know, three military takeovers of government in the last one year. Is there a feeling that the democratic gains of recent years are being undone? Does this worry you? It does concern me um, by nature of our population under two million people, uh, a peaceful social fabric, uh, highly socially knit, and also um, um, the comparative peace around the region or in the sub-region, Senegal is stable, Guinea-Bissau is stable, and uh, of course we have Ghana and others, ECOWAS region, sub-region. Uh, but generally it is a concern. Uh, I think we live in a world where we cannot be complacent, looking at what obtains uh, around us. So this is a, it's a time to not to be complacent. We need to be alert. We need to promote peace beyond Gambia. We need to be interconnected. We need to, without peace, the, the, the African Agenda 2063 that we all yearn for, the Africa that we want, peace and stability, uh, driven by its own citizens, African citizens. Uh, we're looking at security. We are looking at advancement. We're looking at the empowerment of youth and women. We are looking at inclusive democratic governance. These are issues that cannot be really uh, disassociated uh, from, from, from Gambia. On about Tamba Jang, uh, lastly, uh, some people say that, you know, uh, you've, you haven't come out clearly to state who you're backing in this presidential race. Most of the contenders are known to you. They are people that you have worked with in the past. Do you have any preferences? I don't have any preference. For me, I'm looking at who can lead the country. Who can lead the country? Who is democratically uh, competent? Who is democratically passionate to lead the country? Who has the interests of the country first? Who is competent? Who can uh, assure us as, uh, as Gambians uh, peace and stability? Uh, the person who can provide us op opportunities to work, not only public sector, but the private sector. Somebody who can also, who has the vision and mission to bring in investors, because Gambia is a small space. We are yet to have our natural resources exploited. Honorable Fatumata Tambajang, former vice president of the Gambia, thank you very much for your time. And uh, good luck to the Gambia as you vote this Saturday. And thank you for watching Africa News. Thank you so much, Africa News and Africa. Thank you, Ronald.